I think we got it here. Is it working? That's embarrassing. Good. All right, hey everybody. Uh, as you can see, Freddie and I coordinated in our dress here. Um, I, you can guess who's from Colorado and who's from uh, London here. London. So, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we're here to talk about uh, the battle for control. Uh, my name's Mike Sheehan, um, and uh, I run SpotX. SpotX is a platform for video advertising. It allows publishers to manage their inventory holistically. It doesn't matter what screen, doesn't matter what kind of tactic, whether it's direct sold, programmatic, uh, remnant, et cetera. Why don't you give us a little intro to yourself? Hello, I'm Freddie. I'm not the one from Colorado. I'm director of content syndication at Newsy. We're a 65-person newsroom of millennials uh, based out of Columbia, Missouri who generate between 30 and 50 new pieces of original video news every day. Um, in 2014, we were acquired by the EW Scripps company, uh, best acquisition I've ever seen. They do nothing but let us get on with our job um, and give us fantastic resources. And one of the things we did with those resources is build a syndication program, which we've been doing for the last couple of years, and it's been great fun and um, very productive for both us and our publisher partners. All right, so I'm gonna tee this up. So, uh, talking about Battle for Control, we know about these walled gardens. These walled gardens like uh, YouTube, uh, like Facebook, right? They have the audiences, they have the data, uh, they have the content. Um, now they're even making moves like Facebook <coughs> wants to keep them on site, right? Um, and actually, I think when uh, this, this creates a, a big challenge for publishers, right? Content producers, media owners. Uh, how much should I partner with these guys? What's the, the, the right amount? Um, you know, there's uh, companies, broadcasters, who will never put anything on there, and there are companies that have built their whole businesses around uh, these walled gardens. I don't know, news, how does Newsy think about this? How do you think about this, Freddie? I, I think it's obvious. The answer is it's a little bit of both. Um, we, we do put our content out into the social channels on Facebook and YouTube, into the walled gardens. But we don't do it for any reason. We don't think we're going to generate revenue from it. We're doing it because it is a, it is a fantastic place for your brand to be seen and recognized and for people to engage with it. Um, but, but that's really the, the crux of it. That's why we use our social. Right, but aren't you afraid that like, you put that content up there, they're just going to stay there? No, we, we don't put all of our content up there for a start. Um, there's very little that we put up there, and it's normally what we've described as social first news, which is for people who are sitting at their desk, their bosses don't know that they're actually on Facebook rather than working. And so it's something they can basically watch with the sound off or on their headphones. And it's kind of engaging. We, there's sort of videos put up there, you know, we put up maybe one or two a day out of the 30 or 40 we make. Um, and they'll get maybe between, you know, some of them might get 50 or 100,000 views lately in the political season, some get 10 to 15 million views. Um, and that's great, and that's Newsy out there, and that's what we use Facebook for, is for people to discover Newsy. But you just said something, you don't make money from it, do you not care about making money from not it? Not at all, no, that's not what, the, so that's not what Facebook's for. Well, well come I mean, on, it'd be you, nice if money, you, you don't want to make money? Yeah, I mean, we'd, we, we'd, we'd love to make money, unfortunately. Um, it's what we're all here for, right? You know, we hunt and gather money, but, but that's not what that's for, that's what content syndication is for, and that's the big, big part of our business that's grown exponentially over the last couple of years. Okay, so content syndication, tell us a little bit about how Newsy deals with content syndication. Big part of your business, what yeah. do you guys do? So it's become a very substantial part of our business. Um, thanks to, e again, shout out to EW Scripts for letting us do this. Um, we partner with very significant news publishers across the country who are always looking for more video content. Even if they make their own content, everybody's always looking for more. So we, we provide them with our entire archive uh, through a dashboard that they control, that their editors and their publishers control, and they run our news wherever they want, whenever they want, anywhere across their sites. And it works very well for them, and it works very well for us. The main reason why it works so well for them is because every month we send them a massive check. You know, there's no, like, there's no, you don't have to pay to play, it's just a case that that's what works and revenue matters. But again, it's still the Newsy brand out there being seen, recognized, engaged with, and that's eventually what people end up saying when they go home at the end of the day. Oh, what was that video I watched? Oh, that's right, it was on Newsy. And that's when they turn on their Apple TV, their Roku, or their, you know, any other device they have in their home. And that's where they really get sucked in, and that's a huge part of our goal in syndication. All right, so, I mean, syndication's not easy, though. Um, I mean, what's the biggest challenge if, you know, there's a lot of content producers out here, don't spill all your secrets. Uh, but, you know, I mean, how hard is it and, and what are the biggest challenges associated with getting your content on their site? 
Um, getting them to pick up the phone, I think, is a really big challenge. Um, but thanks to the quality of the content that we put out every single day, as soon as they've actually agreed to watch, see what we do, they are extremely engaged. They understand that they don't have to commit to running a thousand or a million videos or no kind of financial commitments. It's like, oh, I can have your archive and I can choose to use it or not. That amount of control that we offer them, as well as the fact that we offer our publishers first look at selling all the inventory, means that they feel in control of our video. And they should be. It's their site, it's their pixels, it's their real estate. We're just offering them video that's very good at monetizing, that's very high quality, and as a result, everybody feels like they're winning. It's a win-win-win. Okay, so all of this is, you're making money from ads. Okay. Obviously, this is our client. Um, so, I mean, you know, how are you guys monetizing it, right? Are you selling it? Are they selling it? Is it so remnant? Is it open? Is it programmatic direct? Generally, it's spot X, I'd say. You know, oh, yeah, oh, really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You guys, you guys crush it, and you've made us very happy. Yes, um, you've made us very happy. That was actually that's a hundred. <laughs> we agreed on two. <laughs> we'll get that later. You got more to say. Yeah, you actually do this. <laughs> anyway, um, we we offer all of our pubs to sell the inventory for them, um, and a lot of them like that because they do nothing. They put our players on their sites. They have their publishers, as I say. Um, going in every day, they have an article, they're like, I wonder if there's an easy video. As I said, even if they make their own content, if they don't or their teams are busy, they'll go to Newsy, and if we don't have something, they can actually phone up our editorial team and say, guys, there's this big story happening. Within 90 minutes, they'll have a video. And, um, and all of our video with all of our partners comes with pre-roll, and we sell it for them if they want us to take first look. And every month, as I said, we just mail them a giant great big check or by wire transfer. This country is very backwards. You guys still use checks. It's <laughs> um, but as I said, we also very much allow our partners to take first look. Um, you know, we have publishers like the Daily Beast who love that because they have very big direct campaigns. They love our content. It resonates very much with what their columnists are writing about and with the readers because it's very quick, very objective, very concise news. And they take first look and we backfill for them thanks to you. So I, I, we only have a little bit of time left, but I definitely want to touch on something you already um, touched on. Um, and you all have something here. Um, the, the, we sponsored uh, something on CTV to be written uh, in conjunction with um, the Digiday folks. I think it's awesome. Read it. If you want to get ahead in, in, in the kind of the CTV game, learn more about it. But you guys are really leaning forward on CTV. We have their app playing during business hours only, so we're watching it, uh, in our front lobby all the time. Um, I know that you know, I was visiting a CTO of a major media company the other day, and he's like, you know what? I get home so late. He's like, the cable channels are all done with a news cycle. So I, and he didn't know I worked with Newsy. Uh, and he said, I turn on Newsy on my Apple TV. You guys are really leaning forward here. What, tell us about your OTT strategy. It's, well, is it strategy? the future? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's a huge part of, it's a huge part of our business. Like, you know, apart from making a ton of money for us and our partners in syndication, it's really about people seeing the brand and then going home and turning on their Apple TV. You know, we, 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 we got recognized by Apple for having, you know, the best news app yeah. on Apple. And, um, and we have people who, on average, every evening watch Newsy for 32 minutes. And, um, and that's where we see a huge amount of the future because this is the future. People, you know, are now switching to that. They are cutting the cable. They want to decide what they're going to watch every day. It's Netflix, HBO, Newsy, because they know what they're getting. And we are leaning very heavily on that, and that's a big part of our syndication. At the end of every clip that we put out, um, will be, you know, this is Newsy, watch us on Apple TV, Roku, yeah, Amazon, Amazon Fire, and stuff like that. And, and, and that works. And yeah, so our incredible. audience is growing. You guys are helping us monetize it yeah. um, very, very effectively. And as a result, we want to drive more people to that because it's a very valuable place to be. If anybody has kids at home, I mean, this is my experience. My kids actually don't even know how to turn on the cable TV. They haven't done it in two uh, years. They turn on... Uh, any OTTV and access the app, whatever it may be, Netflix, yeah. et cetera. So you got to get that brand out there. They got to know it's in the store. They got to download it, and they know my kids aren't going to watch news. But uh, you know that 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 is essentially kind of the cycle here. That's how you yeah. grow an organic audience. And then people stay there, and they yeah. trust it because yeah, they know cool. who they're watching. They 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 like and trust the content. So um, just uh, a little bit over a minute. Um, we definitely want to also open up to any questions. If anybody has any questions, you get happy. Happy hour, yes, thank you. There is a happy hour sponsored by SpotX. Please go and drink a lot. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> we got a question. Do we? Hi, thank you. That was very fascinating. Um, Freddie, I have a question for you. What are you using? Oh, I'm over here to your left. Where are you? Right yeah. here, right here in the middle. Oh, there 90? you go. Yeah. Oh, that'll be. Hi, hi. 
Um, you're obviously syndicating a lot of video. How are you managing that? Are you doing it on a one by one basis or how is it and how does SpotX get to sort of tack on to that? Um, so we have a pretty, we actually have a pretty lean setup. Um, we, one of the things that we actually, we do, I, I'd like to say insist on, but we don't quite insist on is that every one of our partners has our player running our content on their site. Um, thanks, I actually want to give a shout out to a company here called Vemba. They are our video dashboard provider. Um, and they, um, through JW, give us the play we need. And they, we work one-to-one -one with every one of those publishers. And, um, and I actually work very closely with each of my publishers um, to make sure that they're happy and that they're engaging, they're using it. Um, so it is, it's a very, very, very hands-on. If any of you do become partners, unfortunately, you'll be listening to this voice a lot. I don't just sort of set it and forget it. I want to work with you on how to grow that business. And the way that SpotX is plugged in is that um, all monetization will be done through our instance of, of, of through our ad server. Um, and so even if a publisher is taking first look, we'll get, we'll get their ad tag baked in. We'll go at the top uh, at a set rate that we agree, and then we'll fall in behind it. And we'll fall in behind it with SpotX. Thank you. We're way over. I know. <laughs> we started late, though, to be honest with you. I think that's it, is that it? Yeah, we gotta wrap it up. <laughs> we gotta get to that cocktail hour. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank guys. You. Appreciate it. Okay, so we're gonna move on.